Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. Welcome back to my book reading and especially to the book Thinkers of the East. And today we're on the chapter entitled Dismissal. So I will leave you to my avatar to do the reading first and I'll get back with some of my reflections about this chapter. Dismissal. Someone said to Bahauddin Naxband, it must have caused you pain to dismiss a certain student. He said, the best of all ways to test and help a disciple, if it is possible, may be to dismiss him. If he then turns against you, he has a chance of observing his own shallowness and the defects which led to the dismissal. If he forgives you, he has an opportunity of seeing whether in that there is any sanctimoniousness. If he regains his balance, he will be able to benefit this matter of ours, the teaching, and especially to benefit himself. Yeah, that was a very short story. Uh, welcome back. Now, I think before we begin, I think we have to remember that many of us have uh, a lot of imagination about our ability as a student. We have a lot of, of imagination with regards to how much we can learn, how prepared we are to learn from a teacher. And also, very importantly, we also have imaginations about how our teacher will accept us as a student without any question, without any, uh, what do you call, uh, criteria and so on. So this story is actually about reminding ourselves that as someone who wants to learn, a teacher has a right to actually dismiss a student, first of all. And, we, and some may say, this is crazy, but actually when you think about it, it's actually correct, because the only responsibility of a teacher is to teach you the Fardu'ain. So if you are going beyond the Fardu'ain, it all depends on your capacity. And when you're, we talk about capacity, it means not only about your ability to learn in terms of your intellectual ability, but also your spirituality and your readiness to actually want to learn from someone. So that is something that a teacher would have to judge. And we as a student, we tend to not know this. And we forget about this sometimes to our detriment. So this story actually illustrates how uh, a teacher can actually dismiss a student. And if a student is serious about learning from the teacher, he would take a look at himself, first of all, and not as often the case, blame the teacher for dismissing him. So the teacher would test the would-be student. And this test is not for the teacher, but actually, it is more for the student to help himself, to understand himself better. At what level is he at? At what uh, level of preparedness is he at? At what level of intellectuality is he at? At what level of spirituality is he at? Are his emotions in balance? So this is a test. When the teacher dismisses you, we have to bear in mind to look at it as a test of ourselves, not a test of the teacher. Because also, if we think it's a test of the teacher, then we should not have gone to the teacher in the first place. The first of these reactions, when a student is uh, dismissed by a teacher, is that he can get angry at the teacher. Now, if we think about it, if the student thinks that uh, going with a teacher, learning with a teacher is just learning the content, then this is where he is already wrong. Secondly, also, when you talk about learning from a teacher, the teacher is teaching you in all aspects of your life, in terms of your character development and so on, because from the Islamic point of view, 
knowledge goes hand in hand with your character and your spirituality and so on. So, like I've said before, when you talk about knowledge, the only one way you can demand to be taught is actually with regards to the Farduain. Other than that, it all depends. And the teacher is the one who decides whether you are suitable or ready to learn any further. So when you get angry with a teacher, we have to actually, instead of getting angry with the teacher, we have to actually ask ourselves, are we angry? Is it because of our pride? Because we have imaginings or imagination that we are actually such wonderful students and we deserve to be taught the higher things. So if the pride is that is between us and the learning, then we have to reflect about it and think about how to reduce that pride. And that is what the teacher is trying to illustrate to us, that perhaps we are too arrogant, okay, too, full, too full of ourselves. So we have to lower ourselves and humble ourselves. So pride is one of the, if you like, uh, uh, obstacles to our actual learning. So, in other words, we have to look at ourselves first when we are dismissed, and especially if we get angry. Don't get angry with the teacher. Get angry with ourselves in the right way and ask ourselves, why are we really angry? What is it that is making us angry? Have we realized our own shortcomings as a student because of what the teacher did to us? If that is the case, then good then maybe we will be able to make further progress, inshallah. The second possible reaction from a student when he is dismissed by a teacher is that he thinks, never mind, I forgive him. <laughs> okay, And that is actually something that we also should look into because is it really we are forgiving him or is that an act of sanctimony or hypocrisy on our part. So how is it an act of hypocrisy? Well, it can be an act of hypocrisy if we think that we, we, we don't deserve to be dismissed by the teacher and therefore we think he has done us wrong. Okay, So when he has done us wrong, so we think, okay, we take the mor moral high ground and then we say, I forgive you, never mind, all right, you don't know me or whatever it is. So that is hypocrisy. So if we can check on that, on that hypocrisy, then maybe we actually can correct ourselves so that we do not act as if we are better than the teacher, for example. We're not in a position to judge the teacher. We have to admit that and that the teacher may actually know something about us that we don't know. But if we, and he actually, by him dismissing us, he's highlighting the fact that we have this possibility of acting like hypocrites. And as long as we are in that mode, then we cannot make much progress in our learning to be a good Muslim. Now, Uzbillah. The third possible reaction from a student when he is dismissed by a teacher is that he can actually regain his balance. Now, what do we mean here by regain his balance? It means that he will react with proper adab. Adab means, in this case, means that he knows his place in relation to his teacher. He knows his ability in relation to his teacher. He knows his capacity in relation to his teacher. He knows his spirituality level in relation to his teacher and so on. So when he's dismissed, he would first of all look at himself and he would look at himself and then he will try to find the shortcomings, what, whatever is lacking and so on in all this regard. And then he would then try to make sure that those things are there before he tried to re-enlist himself with the teacher. And that is the right way that we should do when we are, have been dismissed by a teacher. In fact, that is the right way before we even approach a teacher. Like I said before, many of us have a lot of imagination about the kind of student we really are. 
and that is an imagination <laughs> okay we're dreaming actually but very often what we think of ourselves we tend to overestimate ourselves and so because of this we have to really sit down and think and this is i think something that happens very often we often think that oh we hear about a wonderful teacher and so on and we feel that we can attend such and such teachers class right and this is where we often we 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 pride hypocrisy and so on all comes into play so before we even go try and enlist or enroll in a class check ourselves so this is the advice of this very short story thought but i think very profound and i hope like i have i found it actually most useful and i think it's and not just useful but the word perhaps the best word to use is is very enlightening and it is all about the adapt of learning so with that i end this reflection and i hope you have learned something from it you found it useful and if you do please do subscribe to this channel if you have not done so already and i hope to see you again in the near future inshallah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. Thank you.